superstar Barry Gibb of yes. the Bee Gees. Here he is himself. <laughs> I just want to say, what a oh, what a, a pro, what a pro. Only, he, he have to be in the business the number of years Barry has been to know that you get the biggest and longest ovation if you enter from the washroom. And I thought that was a clever choice tonight, Barry. Yeah, well, you know, you've got to brush your hair, you've got to do things, <laughs> personal things we don't talk about here. Uh, I'm, I'm personally very grateful, as you know, because I've said it to you um, privately in those uh, warm and intimate moments we share. I have told you how much I appreciate your work and, uh, and uh, spearheading this uh, entire effort. Well, I, um, actually, it's very mutual, although, you know, I'm sometimes quiet on the subject of what you do. And uh, I'd like to say uh, in front of everybody here tonight, this is a very brilliant man, very brilliant writer. And I respect you um, very much, Alan, and I follow your work very much. And uh, this is a funny man. Thank you, know, you. One special you know, I enjoyed writing that speech for you, too, just then. <laughs> We've got to talk about the fact that, of course, Barry is going to have a real big treat for us tonight. I know it's going to be a treat for me, and that is to hear him perform. He is going to give us our own special and South Florida concert, yes. Barry, right? Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> but, um, oh, you haven't heard it yet. <laughs> um... But only on one condition, and that is that the people listening or watching call in. Uh, let's, let's make some money for diabetes out of this. There's a purpose behind it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank Remember, you. historic folks, get on the phone right now. Please get involved. Don't let this opportunity pass you by to be involved in this very important project. And, of course, Alan, those numbers in Dade County are 937-CURE. Broward, take it. 797 5770. Oh. And now we've got to talk about something serious now. Family huh? now. Andy Gibb. Yeah. Oh, all these kisses tonight is incredible. Let's see, Andy. Andy has uh, has supported anything nice that uh, no, you you've been real good to me, which is what I really wanted to say back on that. that remember, thick of the night. Remember Thick of the Night? I'll never forget Thick of the yeah, Night. Yeah, well, yeah. you were one of the ones brave enough to come on it, and I appreciate it. Oh, come on. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. And I, I want to know just uh, also, for those uh, who follow the tabloids, that this is Andy's real chest hair, too. That the yes, rumors sir. about this being Velcro are not, uh, not right. This is all man, right? We'll here. be up for auction. Yes, you're auctioning strand at a time. <laughs> of course, Andy, we know that you want people to call in. That is the whole idea here. Tonight. Yeah, get to the phones and call in right now, please. Everybody. And now we're going to get to tune in to Andy Gibb. So go to it. Tune in? Tune in. Don't you get this? <laughs> get off the stage. It's my turn. Yeah, we're leaving. Bye. Oh, I can't use this mic. Live television. Here we go. How much cord have I got? Chasing your direction I was telling you no lies And I was loving you When the words are said Baby, I lose my head Yeah And in a world of people There's only you and I There ain't nothing come between us in the end How can I hold you when you ain't in my Only you can see me through Moment in your life. 
your wrongs. I was chasing your affection. I was doing you no harm, but I was loving you. Make it shine, make it rain. Baby, I know my way. to get sidetracked tonight by performances like that, it's very easy to forget that uh, this show is really for you. Andy and those guys get to perform a lot. This is the your chance. The different story on the courts this morning is more than a dozen corporate sponsors played against one another in a round-robin tennis match. Proceeds going to the Diabetes Foundation. The top four representing three companies, Fox Rackets, The Ives, and Royal Crown Cola, who provided two finalists, were presented with certificates of appreciation. They will compete in the celebrity tournament tomorrow. Another competition tonight put bitter against bitter in a celebrity auction. Among the prizes, an autographed lithograph by the Rolling Stones' Ron Wood, Barry Gibbs' autographed guitar, and lunch on the Miami Vice set with Edward James Almost. Singing later on. Now we have Barry on tape. That's right, Barry on tape. But on wait a second. stereo cassettes. But wait. On <laughs> CD. First, we got to tell them a little bit about what I found out. Okay. Barry, of course, married to wife Linda, beautiful wife, the father of four beautiful sons. Linda's the father of four beautiful <laughs> sons. Barry and well, Linda. Well, more about that okay. at home, yes. And Barry, of course, has been involved in diabetes research for some time. And I learned that his grandmother, in fact, has diabetes, and that's what really spurned his keen interest in working toward trying to find a cure. Now, in just a few moments, as we've told you, Barry is going to come up here and sing his heart out for you. But one of the things I talked to him about when I was at his house a couple of weeks ago was how it felt for him to come up and perform before a live audience. Terrifying. Really? <laughs> yeah. But it's a terror that you love. And when you're a child, it's, it's the kind of, you go looking for that kind of terror. You will find an audience. You will find, um, you go to a local dance. You will do anything to put an audience in front of you that will scare you to death because that's what you love. And that's, that I think is what any top performer, and I don't put myself in that category, but I, anyone I know that does this, 
on a large scale or on a top scale uh, feels the same terror. So you are terrified of I don't get sick, but I get that feeling uh, of uh, butterflies, um, uh, the excitement, the terror that it has to be right, like you were talking about having to do live television, that it just has to be right. You cannot fail. And uh, uh, there's no room for failure, so you, uh, that's exciting. Let's talk a little bit about living in Miami. Okay. And it's certainly this is an event that has great community roots. Oh, yeah. You guys have been here for quite a long time, yeah. and the Bee Gees were certainly among the first resident celebrities. Of course, now we have Don Johnson, and of course, Jackie Gleason was before you, but that's you right. guys were among the pioneers of people coming down here. What made you decide to come to Miami in the first place? Well, I, I didn't even know Don was... Uh, I keep hearing stories that he's not living here, so... Um, well, I saw him last yes. Sunday, so I that think it's safe to say that he might <laughs> still be Don, here. Don, make up your mind. Um... <laughs> Um, I, I, it didn't take me long to make up my mind. I mean, I was, uh, we came 10 years ago to make an album and uh, literally fell in love with Florida. And it's a love affair that lasts to this day and I hope we'll just go on. I just, uh, I love it here. I think the, the attitude of the people is fantastic. I think the lifestyle here is fantastic. Um, I think for any level um, of making a good living in this area, it's fantastic, and I think that um, eventually there's going to be visa problems just to come into this state, which uh, I think is a good idea, boys. Go <laughs> keep them all out, just does. And, um, you know, we have the sunshine here. You don't get this all over America. You get sunshine, you get cl good, clean air. Um, if it's not, even if it's not the cleanest, it's cleaner than most places in the, in the rest of the country. And uh, I can't think of a better place to bring up my kids. Has it been difficult for you to try to bring the kids up normally when your life is really not normal i mean you do have celebrities coming through your home you are in the record business yeah it's not normal it's a, that that is true it certainly isn't normal but i both me and linda uh look at the try to bring up the children in a normal way so we're still normal parents and for some reason i think they understand that too it's like they they treat us like normal parents same as we treat them like normal kids you know and uh, they see the different celebrities come in the house and go, and, and we had George Michael here, we had Michael Jackson live here for a week. Oh, my goodness, and, uh, they must have flipped. Uh, well, no, you see, that's the difference, they don't. They're, they're so used to somebody famous being in the house that uh, um, Michael still calls my eldest, Stephen, calls him from Tokyo, calls him from Japan now, you know. Uh, where, Calling where Michael he's been Jackson? On tour. No, Michael calls Stephen. Really? Uh, regularly, maybe once, twice a week. And they talk for a couple of hours, and uh, uh, he don't even speak to me. So um, they're really good friends, and um, he'll, Michael will call him from some part of the world where he's touring now. I would expect in the next few days to, to, that Stephen will hear from him again. Let's talk about diabetes and the Love and Hope Festival. Yeah. How do you feel about I mean, certainly the kind of money that you can raise in an event like this yeah. certainly has to touch a lot of people's lives with diabetes. How does that touch you when, you know, it's all said and done and the event is over and you yeah. go to bed that night and you yeah. say, hey, maybe I helped some people here today? Well, yeah, I like to think that's true. I like to think, uh, I think we, we all go to bed after such an event and think the same thing. And, um, and hopefully we did. You know, it feels wonderful. Uh, it's always a good feeling to uh, help other people. And uh, that's one of the things in your lifetime you should do. You know, for a lot of people who watch at home, whether it be this particular charity or something else, unless, uh, unfortunately, many times, unless a, char a, a disease has directly affected them, yeah. they don't realize how important it is to help. So right. if you were talking to the folks at home now who perhaps has never experienced anyone right. in their family having diabetes and hopefully right. they won't, right. what would you say to them to say, please call in tonight and, and help us out? Well, I mean, it's very hard to say come in and help when nobody in your family has this actual disease. But um, it's very vital and, and, and we need help. Uh, this disease, disease needs to be killed. And um, if, if it's the person on the street that it takes to do it, then we're going to ask them whether they have relatives or friends. Uh, they must have. You must have somebody in your neighborhood or, or someone amongst your family that is, that is uh, stricken with this disease. Um, I don't know what you say except that it doesn't matter whether you have a friend or, or a relative that has the disease. Uh, it's in your heart to do something, do something. There are, uh, it's not that much, you know. It's not that much. It's not that much to feed a hungry child, and it's not that much to help in this disease either, uh, in this cause. Are you hopeful that your efforts, and of course the efforts of lots of other people, yeah. will perhaps one day eradicate this? Oh yeah, that's why we're doing it. We're going to stop it altogether. That's the whole idea.
Gatlin, yes, country singer, friend of the Gibbs. Let's hear it for Welcome. Larry Gatlin. Welcome, yeah. He just dropped in to lend yeah. his hand and support. How nice. And of course now we've got our friend waiting in the wings for us, Barry. Oh, Barry is ready yeah, now. He, there he is. Oh, the just moment came back the, from the restroom. The moment we've been promising you. I'm excited about this. And, uh, well, what else can we say? We we've, we've mentioned his name the man 312 speaks for times himself tonight. Or sings for himself. And uh, he sings his buns off. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the great musical talents in the world. Yes. This is Barry Gibb. Yes. That one, I'll take this one. I'll take that one. That's nice. This is nice. That may be nice. No, this is nice. Barry, I'm back. Hello, darling. I'm back. You're not going to sing just yet. Because I've got someone else to introduce. Yeah. That gentleman over there, Mr. Hank Kellner, and he has something to you. give you. We're going to toast this man hey, tonight. Hank, how are you doing? Barry, did you sing yet? Uh, you sing? No, it's all right. Oh, okay. Keep your ears open. Be good. And of course, this gentleman is from the DRI Diabetes Research Institute. Here we go. On behalf of the Diabetes Research Institute, we would like <laughs> we would like we would like to present you with this uh, this gift that comes from the bottom of our hearts, and what it says with deep appreciation and affection, Barry Gibb, fourth annual Love and Hope Tennis Festival, the Diabetes Research Institute. Together, we can outlive diabetes. Thank you. That's true. Thank you. Beautiful. I could hold that while you I, sing, if you want. I, I, um, I don't know what to say. Um, thank you very, very much. I, I don't think that uh, these things are necessary. That's very nice. But I, I just think it's, your, it's conscience that's what it's down to. I think people just have to give. And we don't have to get these things in return. I thank you with all my heart. That's fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I think this is a good time that this is another special man that's put a, a, a guest host on our, our tennis tournament uh, to Mr. Alan Thicke on behalf... Yeah. Thank you. On behalf of the Diabetes Research Institute, with love and hope and special understanding, to Alan Thicke, our deepest thanks, and again, together, we can outlive diabetes. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, I'd like to consider... Uh, trading with Barry because this one has a pocket for some sugar-free candies around my That's house true. which will be true. yeah that, that is very, does have a certain sparkle about very it, kind it? of you as if I would ever forget this evening that will um, help memorialize it for me thank you very much right. congratulations Alan awesome. now what all right one more last but not least we have to give a, a great thanks to WTVJ Channel 4 yes. and Uh, we'd like to present this to Robin Carter with special thanks to Brian K Kadensky for uh, production. Oh, thank you very much. We really appreciate this. And it's our pleasure to do something to help an organization like this. But as you said, Barry, beyond the plaques and the recognition, we want you to please call up because that's what's going to make the difference here. The numbers again in Dade County, 937 Cure, and in Broward, 797-5770. And now... The moment that we have been waiting for, Barry Gibb, accompanied by Morris Gibb on keyboard. Yes! Barry Gibb is going to sing for us now. Barry, take it away. We're leaving. Thank you. Evening. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. Um, you ready, Pete? We're ready. Yeah. Okay. This song is for Hazel. Okay. Smile, an everlasting smile. A smile can bring you near to me.
Fantastic. What about a hand for my brother Morris? Yeah. Have a look. Okay. I know. I know, you see. <laughs> More media madness. Okay. <laughs> I'd like to uh, introduce now, very quickly, because we're rounding up the show, we're coming towards the end of it. I know. I know. Um, I'd like to bring on a lady that uh, has become a very strong personal friend. And I've known her for uh, most of my life. I've known her for 25 years. And um, uh, when I was in Australia... Yeah, yeah, it's true. I know. <laughs> and uh, when, I was, uh, when I was about what, 18 years old, this lady uh, had some very, very big hit records in her home country, Australia. So she's very used to this kind of um, situation. Please give her a warm welcome. My best friend, Nolene Batley. Thank you. Thank you, darling. Nolene Batten. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. <laughs> Hang on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. We're still on the air, right? Wow. We just have here a $24,000 $24, donation in honor of Mr. Don Sofa's father. I think that is fantastic. That's come from... <laughs> That is incredible. Twenty-four thousand dollars from a Mr. Pat Henry. Pat Henry, third prize. What? In honor of Don Sofa's father, third prize in Pat Henry. You know what that means? There you go. You play for twenty-four thousand dollars? <laughs> no, I know that. Okay. 
Tom Daly. And it was a game you played today and somebody won it and they... Okay. <laughs> That's wonderful. 24,000. That's fantastic. Thank you, sir. Yeah. No. That's fantastic. Gave it out of his heart. And that okay. gentleman is... Where's that gentleman that gave this money? Stand up, sir. Fantastic. We got a problem with the clock. We gotta go. We got a problem with the clock. We gotta move along. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Don. Yeah. Oh, fun.